Hi, in this video, I'm going to share five ebook makers and tools that you can use to create your ebooks. These will be in no particular order, so let's get started. All the ebook tools and credits that I mentioned in this video, I'll link up in the description below, so go check that out. Okay, ebook tool number one is Canva. Now you may know Canva as a design tool, but you can actually create eBooks too. And I've got a whole range of tutorials on how to create an eBook using Canva. I'll link one up right here and also in the description below to a few of those videos. This is an eBook that I created called Map Out Your Online Course in 30 Minutes or Less, all 100% created inside Canva. And I created the cover page down to the actual content of the ebook. All this is in A4 size. And again, resources and videos on how to actually create an ebook like this in the description below. What I like about using Canva is that it's fully flexible in a way where you can just drag your images anywhere you want. Not so much restricted to where you place it, you know, left align center or right. So none of that compared to using a tool like Microsoft Word. Everything is drag and drop and what you see is what you get. The only downfall is with Canva, you can create up to 100 pages. However, there is a work around this where you create two designs and then from there, download each of those as a PDF document, then use a file merging tool such as smallpdf.com to merge and combine the two PDFs together. In addition, what I like about Canva is that you can start by using one of the templates rather than starting from scratch by going to templates. Then you can enter something like ebook and then you'll get a range of these ebook templates to start off with. When you go to your homepage in Canva, you can search for ebook and then that will bring up a lot of ebook covers as well as templates that you can start off with like all these ones here. So you don't need to come up with, let's say a cover design for your ebook. Another downfall that I do want to mention when using Canva as an ebook creator is that it, because it's not an actual ebook creator or a document publishing system such as Word, entering page numbers can be quite cumbersome and difficult because you need to enter each page number manually. So for example, I, I don't have page numbers for this since it's only like 10 pages or so, but to enter page numbers, what you need to do is go to text, add, let's say body text, and then this then I drag somewhere down the bottom where page numbers usually sit. And let's say this is page two, right? So there's no system that I know of where it adds page numbers automatically. Hopefully this will be a feature for the future or future update, but that's what you need to do for now. So page two, and then what you do is you can duplicate that by clicking duplicate. Then you have a copy and then basically you just uh, add it down the bottom. But what you can do to save time is just to duplicate page and then that'll basically make another copy and then just edit the page number to whatever page number it is. So that's Canva in a nutshell. Let's move on to the next ebook tool. The next type of ebook creator that you can use is something like Google Docs, Microsoft Word or Pages for Mac. These tools are probably the most familiar to you since you probably grew up, you know, creating, uh, publishing documents on a Word doc and writing texts and your notes on a Word doc. Here's an example of an ebook we've got called uh, Complete Content Marketing Calls for Entrepreneurs 2020. And you can see there's a table of contents here properly inserted. And that's one of the advantages of using something like Word or Google Docs. So I'm on Google Docs right here. The downfall with using these document publishing systems is that again, it's not really drag and drop friendly. So let's say I wanna drag it, I can't do so. It's, it's either left, center, or kind of like break text, different positioning. That's all you can do. You can wrap the text around it and it does it fast, which is a great thing. But if you wanna be particular in terms of where you want certain photos or elements, then it's gonna be a lot harder. And another big advantage of using a document publishing tool or software like Google Docs or Word is that all you need to do is just style it as a heading one, heading two or heading three. That'll tell the software then so when it comes time to creating a, a table of contents, it makes it a whole lot easier. So, you know, this is a table of contents. I can just update the table based on page numbers. And let's say I delete or edit a certain part or portion or chapters, then that will automatically update. As long as I obviously click on update here, update table of contents, that'll update all the page numbers, does it all automatically. And you can add the page numbers too. This particular document doesn't have it, but you can simply add it by clicking on the bottom footer and let's say options and then add page numbers and then show uh, on first page as well. And then what you can do is just apply 
and then that'll add the page number right there. So page six, page seven, eight, nine, so on and so forth. So inserts it automatically unlike Canva. So if you don't wanna mess around with pixels and design, then perhaps something like Google Docs Word or Pages will do because it's most familiar perhaps to you. So sometimes it's not so much about all the bells and whistles that you get with an ebook tool or software. It's more about whether you can get the job done. And if you if Google Docs is all you need to use to create your ebooks, then that's all you need. The next tool and uh, more on the professional level is using Adobe InDesign. The drawback with using InDesign is that there's a monthly fee, just like all Adobe products, $20.99 per month for Adobe InDesign. Adobe InDesign is the professional level in terms of creating documents, and in this case, flyers, posters, brochures, and books. Unless you wanna go through a whole set of tutorials and learning how to use InDesign, I wouldn't recommend this if you're just starting out and you simply wanna get a simple ebook out there. All right, moving on, the next tool I wanna to talk about is Scribble. Scribble is a web-based ebook creator tool. You don't need to install anything on your Mac or Windows system. Taking a look at the back end, you can see how it looks like. To create a new ebook, click on new project, and then that'll bring up some templates to start off with. And I purchased my copy and I'm not sponsored by Scribble in any way. Just wanted to take a look at it so I can review it and show you guys how it looks like. Let's get back to the back end. We've got the templates, as I mentioned, a set of templates that you can start off with or just use one of these and then edit the actual title. Let's just open one of these, planning your student life diary. Click on that. That'll open up a preview so you can see not only the cover page, but the internal design of the ebook. To use the template, click on use, name your project, and then click on create your ebook. That'll open up the ebook editor where I can start adding things like my author name, change the title to my actual book cover, and then we can edit this background if we wish to, this cover. Scrolling down, you can see the table of contents, Further down, we've got the body of the ebook. So you've got this nice layout to start off with as a foundation for your ebook. And then these other layouts too. So pick and choose what you wanna use. There is a feature in Scribble, but I haven't had much success with it. And that is adding content, more specifically content from a particular URL. So for instance, we've got grab URL. I'm going to take the URL of this blog post of mine paste in the URL. And what it's supposed to do is grab that blog article and then place or embed it to this template. Click on add content. And it's got a system error that it says it couldn't fetch it because it's not formatted according to the standards. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work. Uh, perhaps because I'm hosting using Squarespace. Perhaps if it's a WordPress blog, then it might work, but that's one error I've found already when using Scribble. Now, another feature we go back to add content is that you can start from an article collection. So they've got a bunch of these articles based on different categories, and you can just use those pre-made written articles perhaps to add more meat to your existing ebook. So choose your category, let's say beauty, and let's click on cosmetic surgery in a nutshell. We can preview, see what it looks like. So here's the article, 405 words. If we wanna add the content, just select it and then click on add content. And if I scroll down the bottom, it should be there somewhere. So here it is, cosmetic surgery in a nutshell. So it's added that pre-written article for me. Clicking on generate, it'll basically compile the ebook. And I'm given two choices to view online, which is hosted on Scribble server, or I can download a copy by clicking on download PDF. Now with Scribble, there are upsells involved and there was actually quite a lot of upsells and downsells. So they're trying to sell these one-time offers after you purchase the main product of $67. Here's one of them. The first upgrade that I saw was that you get an additional 150 ebook templates, 99 additional articles that you saw uh, me utilize, 8,900 additional stock images. You can sell designs for profit. Not sure exactly what that means. 900 new page design layouts and other things that you see right here. Another thing I saw, I had to take a screenshot of this, is that there's an ability to create or convert your ebook into a flip book. The biggest downfall with using Scribble is that because customers pay a one-time fee, there's no ongoing support, as in developers aren't constantly developing and updating the software. So what this means is that 
as a company scribble that is they need to constantly find new customers every time so to support the software because over time things get buggy and you need to start implementing new features and obviously stay uh, with the times. That's the downside of using Scribble. But on the other hand, you only need to pay a $67 one-time fee. That's pretty much it for a simple to use ebook creator. Now let's talk about the final tool for creating ebooks. And that is by using Designer. Designer is a competitor of Scribble. But if I were to choose between Scribble and Designer, Designer would be the one I would choose. I've got a specific review video of Designer as well as a tutorial, more comprehensive. I'll link it up right here for you to watch at your own convenience, but let's go through Designer briefly. One of Designer's highlight features is that you can import content from your blog or URL. So I'll enter that blog URL that I tried to import using Scribble, which failed, but let's give this a try. Here's my URL, I click on Fetch. It's found the article, so I'll click on Next. What you do then is select one of the templates. I'll just click on this one here, a call to action. And now you're in the ebook editor. Now it's not going to be perfect when you import it. So that's where the minor adjustments uh, need to be made. You can see the heading is on the actual title page here, but everything else looks pretty good. You can see the content of my blog post compared to what you see here, right? You've got the image, but it did, didn't import the photo there. But you can see these points and then compare it to what designer imported. Eat a live frog, apply Parkinson's law, you know, these things uh, which have probably been formatted. You know, you've got the formatting right, the body of the text, everything else looks pretty good. In terms of pricing, if you go to designer's homepage and click on pricing, you'll see that it has a monthly fee attached. But don't be alarmed because there is actually a lifetime option so you can see this page here where it says buy now for $27 one time. If you use the link in the description box below, that'll take you to this specific page. It is an affiliate link and I get a small commission at no extra cost to you. But if you do purchase designer and I've actually got a bonus that I prepared and I explained this in my specific designer tutorial, basically what you're going to get is a set of 300 articles that have been pre-written and you can brand and use the content, swipe it, you can cut and paste, copy and paste it to your own ebook as you wish. And that'll add maybe a bit more meat, more value to your ebook. Or if you can, you want to re-wit it, feel free to do that. But that's my bonus. And if you are interested in that, look in the description below where you can get 300 free articles when you purchase using the link in the description below. What I want to mention is that with that one-time payment, you do have limited access. So this is kind of the standard starter plan where you can basically do that import from blog articles. You can import from a Word doc too and convert it to a designer ebook, import it from a Google doc, start from scratch. And you can also have the get the ability to convert your PDF to a flip book. This is a new feature from Designer, which I think is pretty good. There is an ability to save it as a Kindle ebook formatted correctly based on their guidelines. And that is part of their upgrade. I took a screenshot of the upsell or the one-time offer of Designer after you purchased that $27 deal. This is their Designer Pro option and apologies for the weird graphic here. What you also get in addition is over 300 more templates. You got also the ability to convert your book cover into a 3D cover like what you see here. And as I mentioned before, you can publish to Kindle by saving it as a Kindle. And this is a designer pro option as well as publishing to Apple iBooks, import from a PDF, import from any Facebook page too and all these other benefits that you get. The price for Designer Pro is $97 per year. It's all completely optional and it doesn't mean you can't create eBooks. You can basically use that one-time plan of $27 and create eBooks using one of the options like here. Again, if you were to ask me whether to choose between Scribble or Designer, hands down, I would choose Designer because of its constant and ongoing development with its software. So if you want to check out Designer and get more info of it, including my tutorial on Designer, I'll link it up below, including what my bonus consists of. But there you go. Those are the five ebook creator tools that you can use to create your ebooks in no particular order. Again, I want to mention that none of these tools are one size fits all and it doesn't matter about all 
all the bells and whistles that you get with each of these tools. If you find one tool works better for you to create your eBooks, then go with that, whether that's Google Docs or Canva. But I just wanted to suggest these tools so you can kind of compare and see which one's right for you. If you have any questions about any of these methods or tools, leave them down below. If you like this video, got value from it, be sure to hit that like button too. Thanks a lot for watching and if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe below, turn on notifications too so you don't miss any future videos like this. In the meantime, I'll link up a couple of other relevant videos right here.